All right, so we're checking out the only game where the entire purpose is to make people so frustrated that they break golf clubs over their knees. It's Resort Boss Golf. The developer got with me and sent me a key early as if though to say, Gray, please try and make the most broken golf course in the entire universe. Challenge accepted. New game. Damn it. Resort name. Uh, here we go. Size. What kind of sizes are there? Tiny, small, medium, large, huge, colossal. So if you pick colossal for your golf resort, are you like compensating? I feel like other golfers would say that. Whatever, we're choosing colossal. So the purpose of the game is to build like a an awesome, you know, uh, Olympic style. Olympic? What the hell am I talking about? An awesome professional style golf course so that everyone is impressed with your abilities. We're not doing that. We're going to build the most jacked up impossible golf course in the entire universe. The kind of golf course where people come, look at what they have to do, and just get back in their van and leave. Okay, when they said big, they weren't kidding. Holy crap. Uh, sure. Glad I could find the parking lot, which is like 30 miles across the landscape. Way the hell over here. Who is this? Is this our park owner? Oh, this, is mu this must be me. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm wearing a green hat or a shrub. Whatever. All right, first things first. You got to build your clubhouse over here. Bam. I want a glass door. I want two glass doors and a frame with an awning. Because the worst thing ever is to come into the golf club and like some rogue pigeon vomits his ass chunks all over you. Big ass windows to get a view of the green. I can do all kinds of stuff to this. You can mess with the wall color. Okay. Boring beige. <laughs> rental red. What the hell does that even mean? What about red makes it a rental? Walter White. Blacky black. This is... This is a color? <laughs> Whatever, let's just go with what it is right now. I want a red roof though, because red roofs are awesome. I want a hipped roof. I changed my mind. I want a gabled roof. All right, we need some builders. Mr. D, get in there. Oh, because we built a clubhouse, we can build other crap. Uh, sure. Only the finest overpriced food for people that are basically coming to ruin their lives. They don't get awnings though. They're not that good. Good blue. Why not? How high can you make the hotel? 10 floors? Hell yes. All the facility ratings. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Oh my God, this thing's expensive as hell. Can I afford this? Let's go ahead and name it real quick. Get the big ass double doors on this one. It looks really weird with framed windows like this. Oh my God, the expense is going up a lot. Never mind. we need to save money. You get the crappy doors and no windows now. Do I have enough money to even get like a golf hole out here, I hope. Where is this path going when I move it over here? It kind of looks like it's lasering its way up to space. Whatever, I'm just gonna build a hole and make that hole. Pray to God this works. I'm gonna make like one like 250 yard hole, but I'm gonna put like the devil's hill in it or something like that. Okay, let's do that. Start out with some fairway, green. As you can see, the difficulty isn't difficult enough. Okay, what happens if I make half of it a freaking sand bunker? How about now? There we go. Mess around with the terrain tool a little bit. Hold on. If you come in straight like this, that's tomfoolery. We're gonna make like a mountain over here. Can you bring it up any higher? Or is that, is that how far down can you bring it if you want? Oh my god, you can go down to like the pits of hell. Imagine losing your ball down there. You gotta play it where it lies. We'll 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 go up. We'll we'll have the peak first. Risk treacherous yeah no kidding i like how this game decided this would be a par four i want this to be like a minefield there we go you know what even the area where you're about to tee off from looks like it got hit by a rocket you know what even the green looks like it got hit by a rocket let's see it sink the ball now you can put trees down are you allowed to put these like wherever you want like obviously you can put them on the side here and you know make your golf course look appropriate but like can you put them right in the middle of the <laughs> of course you can. All right, our builders are starting to get things rolling over here. I don't know how long it's going to take them to get this friggin' Trump Tower going. It's not fully built yet, but think about this for a second. This is hole one. How are you going to landscape this? They're just going to climb the sheer wall. Why not? Now, that's that. this is why you pay big money for landscapers, okay? Also, we are churning a ton of money. I assume it's because of the hotel? That's the only thing I can think of that's making us this level of cash? Maybe it's the restaurant. There's no one playing golf yet, okay? The course isn't even done yet. Here <laughs> Just, the tree ends up growing right in the middle of the course. Oh, this is gonna be a friggin' hoot. Oh, I got an email. Probably some dude giving me the middle finger. Facility construction request. Good afternoon, boss. It's N. Schmidt here, a journalist at the esteemed Golf Magazine. I'd ask which one, but I have a feeling that there's actually a golf magazine called Golf Magazine. Our result would be better off with a new hotel, but they're offering $22,000. 
to help offset some of the building costs. Like, I literally just did this. Does this not count? I hate myself. This is what I get for, you know, going ahead and trying to be proactive. Whatever, there's nothing like a hotel next to a hotel. Oh, congratulations, your resort rating increased. Sweet, oh, I get a pro shop and a member's lounge. Why do I feel like I made this a non-burger joint like three times and every time it went back to being a burger joint? You know what, I like hamburgers, whatever. Floors, as many as I can afford. Oh, let's see, overhang. What happens if I jack the overhang way up? What the hell happens? Ah, whatever, I'm sure it'll be fine. My overhang has sawed itself into the other hotel. Uh, sure. This one gets glass doors, though. Are people playing golf? I didn't even think I opened this place. Hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> this guy can't get past the guy. Did you, did you do it? Hold on. What, what the hell just happened? It kind of looked... Leaving the course. How did you feel about it? Oh, wow. Hates fish and chips. Going golfing was a good choice, I suppose. How the hell are you guys getting perfect shots? How is this even possible? This is like the most impossible course ever made. Clearly, I haven't made it difficult enough. What in the holy hell is all this? Me request successful. Cool. Mr. Min is a 31-year-old golfer from Thailand. If we accept, we get $7,000. I can't see a reason to reject this man's lovely offer. Mr. Davis is a 62-year-old golfer from the United States of America. Sounds like every neighbor I have in Florida. You're accepted. Uh, build a new restaurant. Absolutely. I... I, I, I can't believe it. I've made a ton of money. I don't know how. Like, this is what I'm talking about, guys. High risk, high reward. Okay, you play these games safely, you make a couple of bucks. You play these games like a psychopath, you make a ton of money. Oh, Gray needs to build another freaking restaurant up in here. Can I please have fine dining? Actually, you know what? Screw it. Ice cream. How about ice cream? You can have more than one floor. Aha! This is why this bullcrap happens. Oh god, I forgot to take the overhang off. You son of a boo! You made it into a burger joint again, I think. I hate this game so much. Oh, whatever, it's fine. You get double doors because I imagine everyone's going to be gaining a lot of weight from this place. That is hot. All right, let's make another let's make another hole here. I feel I feel this hole, it's a lot of risk, but I I, I don't think that it's difficult enough. Let's let's <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna make one as far as we can. I wanna give these people some pathways to make this one a little wider because I can. Wait, can you mess with the terrain that's not on the golf course? Like, if I want to, can I just, like, make these people have to go into the pits of hell to get to the next hole? Sure can. Oh, never mind. The pathway just goes over it. I wanna see if I can give people a heart attack as they go to the next hole. There we go. Mmm. All right, you're gonna tee from here. <laughs> and you're gonna have to... Jesus, how far does this go? 800 yards. I, just, I can't even see how many yards it is anymore. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's start with a little bit of fairway here. <laughs> this is gonna be as expensive as hell. I want fairway in the pit, damn it. $29,000. <laughs> how is the difficulty down to zero? It's like a thousand. You know, I guess there's no there's no issues yet. There's no bunkers or anything. Hold on. I'm gonna make this thing look like friggin' speed bumps. Nothing like rough right in the middle as well. You ever seen moguls and skiing? That's what we're doing here. How is this bringing the risk down? I'm gonna have bunkers completely surrounding the hole. There we go. That's your green. Kind of looks like a like a really jacked up little baseball stadium. Par six on this one somehow. Whatever. Oh, you could put all kinds of water stuff in here too. Oh, hell yes. How big can you make the water chunks? Oh, you need plenty of pine trees so that you don't get to see what's what the next hole looks like. We're just going to put them right in the pathway too. What the hell? And here's some coconut trees down the pit. They're going to break people's falls. You know what I mean? If you fall off of the brick road here, you can try and land on the coconut trees. The president is coming to my balls. President H. Gagnon would like to come to my balls resort to play a round of golf. Absolutely. Hey, three star rating. Y'all still enjoying your golf outing? Everyone over here is like, so how exactly do we approach this hole? This dude's still trying to figure out how to get his ball. I'm really happy to see that my course is completely screwing up all of the people that try and come to it. God, this fairway. It looks like Mother Nature had a freaking ulcer all over this golf course. What the hell happened here? It went straight down into the freaking pit. Why? What the hell? You know what? Sure. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Can we... Is it connected? I think that counts as connected. You gotta... Here. You gotta go right through the sand trap if you can. Oh, can you not go through the sand trap? You can absolutely go through the sand trap. And then we're gonna kind of come around. <laughs> Jesus. 
right? Then you have to come through here like this and then kind of jerky jive over here through the water like so. And then you're going to end up over here on the green. Perfect. Okay, we can have a member's lounge now. That seems kind of important. As many floors as possible. I'm just going to be lame and call this the ballroom. How big can you make the swimming pool? It says pool tiles. Can I... Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Do you need a door frame for this place? Why would you... Why would you even need a door frame? That doesn't make any sense. Pool balls. If you're really feeling brave, you can actually dive off of the overhang into the pool. Oh, this guy's golfing. Look, he went straight down to hell and he never came back out. He he legitimately disappeared. He's gone. He went down into the hole and he just, he just vanished. Okay, here we go. We've got a golfer right now. That is a hell of a shot right there. Almost hit the fairway, which I'm pretty impressed about because like there's not a lot of fairway here. Okay, the golfer crossing the Sahara Desert lines up her shot and wow. What a freaking arm on this lady. All right, Jim, right over here. We're going to see some excellent form from uh, L. Weber. She's 55 years old from Germany. She too hates fish and chips. I'm starting to notice that uh, basically everyone from Germany hates fish and chips. It's a little weird, but why not? Come on, Weber. You can friggin' do it. It's right here, baby. I wonder if I can change the course like while she's in mid swing, like make it a giant Oh, so close. Takes out the putter and sinks it. All right, this one's not going to be too bad. It's only going to be about that far. But now what we got to do, height and drag the hell out of this. There we go. Oh, it totally works. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, you got to come out like this. And then, hold on, I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Okay, so then it drops down like this here. And then it goes straight back up. Perfect. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Jesus. Don't worry, I'll, I'll give you guys some fairway. Here, you actually get a decent amount of green for this one because it's awful enough as it is. If you dare fall down into this little midsection, actually right over here too, we'll put some bunker there. <laughs> a little bit here. I love how the risk comes down a little bit as we put more and more bunkers around. Here, you know what? Bunkers in the four corners. I'm gonna put some dirt in here too because why not? It's a little bit of rough. Actually, you know what? Here's some more rough. I'm gonna put a patch of rough here and a patch of rough here too, because we can. All right, man, looks good. Let's go ahead and put this together. Oh my God, there are membership applications coming out the woodwork. People love this course, man. Look at how insane this is. The mayor wants to visit. Chow loved LOL. The low rating of the facilities made it feel more cozy. I like that you don't have to keep appearance. There's so many journalists that want to come to this friggin' place. Oh my God, shareholders, sure. Everyone, come, please. Actor, stay result. Famous star C. Jackson would like to thank you for allowing the visit. They're amazed at the quality of the hotel. Somehow they also didn't get freaking botulism or whatever. Let me see if I can make this path work. Or, oh, oh my god, what the hell is happening here? Hold on, what does this do? <laughs> What's up? Uh, what, what, what kind of physics have we broken? <laughs> oh shit. I can't get. How about if I go? <laughs> oh no. What is this? Is this my landscapers? What? These guys are, look like they were about to commit suicide. They just jumped off the side over here. I'm hoping this is my landscapers and they can start putting this this area. It looks like just golfers. It's just golfers. They're going to stare at the tee area. I still don't know what this pathway to hell is. Oh, we're up to a four star uh, uh, golf course now. Why wouldn't we be? Oh, we can have a golf cart garage. Hold on. Oh, you're damn right. We're having a golf cart garage. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put this right here. This whole troop over here is stuck. They're still trying to figure out how to get past my trees. Oh, is it done? Did they get it? I think it's, I think they made it. Here it is. This is the, this is the hole. The journalist review result. It's a success. We get $22,000 because his ability to determine what makes a legitimate golf course is terrible. Even the mayor loves this place. Oh, they're playing. Hold on. I gotta see this. Okay, come on, do it, do it. Hit the ball. Stop stop jumping to your death and hit the golf ball already. I want to see if you guys can make this happen. All right, here's our boy. Oh, you poor bastard. <laughs> he has to keep resetting the ball. <laughs> this guy's going to have like 800 strokes. You got to hit it a little bit harder, brother. Come on, pick a different... There you go, that kind of worked. All right, see, first you have to go across the little walkway of despair that brings you over here to the 
pit of solitude. First, though, he has to get past all the trees that I put here. I didn't even expect it to turn out this way. This guy's never going to get past this. I think he killed himself. I think he just jumped off the side. He just disappeared. I don't know where he went. Oh, this sand trap. Oh, this is dirty. No way. You got to be kidding me. There's no way. What? Clearly, I didn't make this freaking hard enough. Okay. Here's the newest hole. Welcome to hell. This hole is uh, almost ready to go, baby. Just a lot of uh, a lot of trees and stuff they got to get put in. I'm pretty sure this looks like something Satan would make. All right, man. It looks like it's almost ready to go. While this is happening, I'm gonna make a ton more hotels because they provide like a ton of money. There she goes. Oh, glory upon glories. Make me stacked, baby. Oh, we got people playing the course. Okay. All right. Takes his shot down low over here. You know, that's not too bad. If if he can continue with those type of drives, he may he may be able to get this on par. All right, let's see what you got here, old man. Right into the tree. Come on, baby. I know you could do better than that. I lied. You're a disappointment to me and your entire family. Go home. I think these two golf people are having a fist fight. I'm not really sure. I, one of these... Oh, they are glitching the hell out now. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore. All right. Well, if I do say so myself, I think that we've made the, the greatest golf course mankind has ever known. We've made like $2.5 million off of it already, so that's pretty good. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Resort Boss Golf. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.